Turnaround number one sounds like this. Let's break it down. So we're going to just do these one at a time. The first one's up. They're all in the key of G, and they're mostly influenced by kind of Piedmont uh, blues musicians that I listen to. This one, we're going to start off, pluck the third fret of the E string, and we're going to come down to this G7 shape. 7, 6, 7. If you don't know this one, it's a great G7 to have in the bag. We're going to play a triplet over it. One, two, pola. This triad, which is also a G, which comes from this big G from the E shape, it's just playing the bottom three strings. And if we want to be precise, we have a B in the bass. So we're going to play this two times. Five, five, five. Think about that as an A minor if we want. We get one, two, four, three, and four, and one. Back to this shape. Hit five, then triplet, three, four, five, three, four. Now we're going to use these fingers specifically because after that, you're going to strum down on a D7. Oops. Do, do, do. So we get. number two third fret again G just establishing a G you could play a G7 there um, you could do a lot there we just want to know first beat G chord I'm just playing a G note boom a cool triplet fourth fret third fret roll that over to five and five I'm still on the G and the E strings up to six and six then land seven and seven on the third beat so it's one Two pola three. Slide up and grab that tenth fret real quick before you head back to six six. Six six becomes five five. And that rolls back over into three four again. So slowly you get one, two pola three and four and one, two and three. Third fret, fourth fret. Then this triad, that's five, four, five. Root, major third, flat seven. So that's a D7, just without the fifth. So we get. Number three. So, 12th fret of your E string, B string, I'm sorry, 10 of your E triplet. One pole up. Move that down a half fret, 9 and 11. Two pole up. Down again, 8 and 10. Three pole up. Down again, 8th fret and 7th fret. This A9, I'm sorry, D9, which is five, four, five, five. You can use four fingers, you can use three fingers. And we're gonna play a triplet on the first three strings, one pole up, and then fifth fret of the B string, you're gonna let that bad boy ring out for a whole beat. One pole up, two, three, and strum it on the third beat. Strum it slow with your thumb, stab it, staccato, let it ring, it's up to you. Triple it through. One pole, two pole, three pole, four. Triple it. Then you're in the top. Okay, 
number four, we're going to play three and five octave just to mix it up. Third fret, fifth fret, both Gs. Down to seven and seven. We're going to go one, two, and three. Grab that sixth on the third beat, then the third fret of the B, followed by the third fret of the E. Fifth fret on the G string, three and three. Fifth fret, fourth fret. Okay. And then we're gonna come up here. Six. Well, it's just like your D9, but up a half step, it's an E flat nine. Two and three, four. So we get. Into the top. All right, continuing to mix it up, we're gonna start with a G7 here. And then we're gonna follow that up with. Three, three, three. Strum the G7. All right, for this one, we're going to start off with the full G7 on the first beat. And then we're going to play third fret of the A string on the second beat, followed by open D and open G. Triplet, triple it, boom. To the third fret of the D string, followed by open D. One polar, two, and. After 3 0, we're going to drop down first fret of the A string. Hammer on the second fret, follow that with the third fret of the E string on the first beat. Four and one. So you get one, two, pola, three and four and one, two and three. We're gonna make that shape of the chord without the fifth in it. Three, two, three. Play that. Up a half step to four, three, four. Up to five, four, five. Two and three. So we get one, two, polar, three, and one. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, polar, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. And there you have five turnarounds influenced by my favorite Piedmont guitarists.